Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Eklavya Self-Learning Tutorials. Well, today we'll be discussing how to change the style sheet of the free CAD, basically this particular background when we open our free CAD and this empty workspace. So how we can change the background basically and the theme colors like right now I'm having some black grayish color background for the menu bars and the background here also if you see my workspace is like something like this so how we can just customize these colors so let's first start with the style sheet so the first thing is how exactly we can access this option so if you go to edit toolbar in the preferences if you click on the preferences so here in the general tab you have this option for the main window this one and here you have the option for style sheet. So now you can see I have made a custom style sheet named Eklavya, but by default you have this no style sheet. So if you just click on it and click apply, so by default you have these settings. Okay, so now how we can access these settings? So you can see there are some more also like dark blue, something like this. So how basically you can access these settings, how we can customize. So we'll be using one of the existing template of the free cat and we also see how we can change this particular logo of the free cat to your custom logo. Okay, so let's start. So if you go to your C drive or wherever your free cat is installed. So suppose I have installed free cat 0.18 in the program files of my C drive. So here in this folder, if you go to data, here you have GUI folder and the style, style sheets folder. Here you have some custom style sheets by FreeCAD, which exactly we were accessing from the FreeCAD menu bar. So here you can see this eklavya.qss style sheet which I have made. So this .qss format is basically the Qt based style sheet. It's a readable text form. You can edit this thing in text also in any of the general um, text editor. So let's suppose we start with this one so let's copy this particular style sheet to our desktop or anywhere you want and let's rename this rename to my style sheet okay so now let's open this in simple notepad only and now you can see here basically it has some various paragraphs and some subdivisions like how the things are made and this is a customization paragraph like how you can change your colors so here it's saying from background darker to lighter so right now this is the thing or the html color code which is used as main background color it is just described here but this color code is somewhat reflected down here so if you come to main window toolbar the paragraph so here you can see the background color is this so how we can change this basically you can add your own html color code also so now how you can get the color codes basically so either you can copy these color codes or if you want to define your own color codes as well so for that what you can do is suppose in free cad from the preferences tab i just want to show you from where you can get the color codes in the display here you have colors and suppose just click on any of the color tab here and you can see some html color code is defined here okay so you can click on any color you can see your color codes html color codes are defining here you can just drag here like this you can see custom color codes being defined so suppose we want to get uh, any lighter color suppose for the white a little bit gray so this is the color code html color code basically so you can just copy from here and you can paste somewhat here in the exact format and then you can copy this color code in this paragraph where the background color is being defined okay and now the things come so let's first save this uh, i also need to copy this let me just cut it in this particular folder where our free is installed so now we'll be having a my style sheet named option in the free cat preferences if we go to preferences and if i go to general tab 
and style sheet so you can see here in the toolbar drop down i have my style sheet so click on it apply so you'll have the different options so now basically we haven't changed the logo so now i'll show you how you can change the logo basically let's keep it to no style sheet so now let's open this again in the notepad and now as i just mentioned earlier in this main window paragraph in the queue mid area you have this background image option here the url is given so this url basically is in the same subfolder of the folder for the style sheet so here is saying the folder name is images underscore dark light and the file name is background underscore freecat.svg so the background it needs is as svg uh, name svg format sorry so what we can do is you can see this subfolder here and there are several images these images are for toolbars for your background so let's copy from our desktop i have already made this svg if i just show you in the inkscape so this i have made a custom svg of my own face <laughs> so you can just see here so we'll be using this particular svg or the sketch as a background for a style sheet so let's just quickly copy this in this folder and now what we need to do is basically we just need to copy this file name svg file name oh sorry it's already opened so we'll just be pasting in the file name here you can see this background image so let's just paste the file name we have copied here fine and now let's save this now let's open freecad again and the preferences click on my style sheet and click apply so wow you can see you have successfully changed your background to freecad so it's no actually the coding skills are required you have to simply edit this qss file which is simply readable in your notepad now let's also see how we can exactly change the background colors of the freecad so if you just click on new file you can see i have some grayish colors here you can see the grid here and i have made some gray color so now how you can change this these are very simple very straightforward in the preferences only if you go to display and then you have this colors tab so here in the background color there are two options either simple color so if you click apply in simple color there will be no gradient it will be just simple color or one simple color and if you choose a color gradient you can have options of two colors or either you can also add a middle color so let's suppose you want to start with the top color of the window so let's choose a somewhat dark brown and let's have the second color as little bit of light brownish click okay and click apply so you can see here you can change the background color it's very contrast basically here so let's shift to somewhat black for the first color and second let it be little less darker click okay click apply so you can see you can successfully change your background color for your free cat so i hope you like this video so i'll be coming up with some more helpful tutorials for the free cat so if you like the video so you can subscribe the channel so let me know your feedback or whatever the things you more like in your comment section below so thank you so much have a good day see you